move this over here. Alrighty. Looks like we're out set. Yay! Alrighty. So, today we're going to be... Um, hi! <laughs> Don't even say hi first. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, today, as promised, we are going to uh, make some butterfly wings. And possibly a second thing I've got planned. Um, these are the ones that I made before. And they're just the crayon between wax paper. And then I took a few of, I don't know which one it was. These are paint markers. And went around and made the little veins in the wings. And then just kind of made them pretty. So that's what we're going to do today, but they're going to be bigger. Yay. We're going to go big. And I made a stencil as a full-size butterfly. And if you want this, I have uploaded it onto my coffee shop. So you can go and download it. And you just fold it on the, the dotted line and cut it out. And then you'll have this. So, first off, let's put this aside for right now. First off, we need to take, I'm going to use two pieces of wax paper for starters. Normally I take one and then fold it in half, but I want to use the, the whole, make the whole butterfly, the whole thing. So I'm going to need it to be bigger. So we're going to put this one aside for just right now. And get some crayons. Uh, let's see. I think these colors would be good. They worked last time really well. Um, and some gold. Grab this. Oh, and if we finish this like really quickly, I've got a second little thing that I'm going to show you guys. How I made my own stickers. These are actual stickers. And it's super, super simple. But they just peel off like a regular sticker. But it's just a stamp and then you color them. And then I fussy cut it with my, uh, my magic wand, as somebody put it. <laughs> This is the gyro cutter, and uh, I just went around the outside and made made stickers. So I wanted people to see how I do that. So we're going to. Uh, oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> how's everybody going? Cheryl and Lisa, how are you, darling? How are you guys doing today? We are just uh, making butterfly wings. And I'm going to hopefully not put too much crayon out. We want enough that it, when it melts, it looks good in place. But you don't want it to mix so much that it turns to mud. That's the trick. Is knowing how <laughs> knowing when to say when. <laughs> so we get the gold out. Okay. And let's see. We'll go for some... Blues. Oops. Okay, it warmed up finally. Yeah, it, it got so cold here the other day, or the other night, that I literally had to turn off my air conditioner and turn on the heater, which wasn't expecting that. Normally, even November here is warm. Not lately. Just put some of this pretty. I love this color blue. It's so pretty. Okay, put that in there. Let's put out some pinks. This is kind of a pinky purple. Um, I also noticed that. When you're using these crayons, to try and shy away from the uh, metallics. 
they, uh, I don't know, and that's all I'm using so far. Um, for some reason, they have a tendency to melt at a much lower temperature. So you don't have to hit them with the, the iron. And then they do have a tendency to, like, mix in a little too, too much. So you got to really play it by ear. And I think what happens is, is because they've got the glitter in them, they're not as thick a wax. There we go. And, ooh, here's a pretty blue. Is that a metallic? It's a metallic. Uh, here's a plain pink. Let's take some paper off. Hello. Grandma's gone crafty. <laughs> Liliana, how are you doing, hon? <clears throat> if this time of day works well for everybody, <clears throat> which, <laughs> if y'all saw the poll I put up on the community tab asking what time would be best for everybody, <laughs> I kind of messed up and uh, didn't think about my Sundays being a filming day because I normally film Monday's videos on Sunday. So that would be, uh, somebody actually wanted me to do the live feed at 9 o'clock on a Sunday. And I was like, oh, no. I'm not even out of bed. Let's see, what other color can we put in here? This looks pretty. So, <clears throat> I think the majority of people wanted it late on a Saturday, which is cool. That's cool. Where did everybody go? There we go. Um, I think, where are the colors? Do we need a darker color? No, let's, leave, let's keep it light. I'm not going to put too much down in here. Um, maybe this. Just this one. Come on. Out. Frosty Northern Alberta, Canada. Oh my goodness. How is everything up above the border? <laughs> oh goodness, okay. I think that's good. I think that's gonna be it for that. Come on, okay. I'm gonna take the second piece of wax paper and put that down. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a piece of uh, cardstock or eh, just a piece of paper because I don't want to ruin my iron again. <laughs> All right. Oh. more. We need a bit more. You can see how it's coming through. <laughs> it shouldn't be doing that, but it's doing it. pretty good. Kind of happy with the way this turned out. I get it off of that fold of the towel. Oh. 
Oh, this is looking so pretty. Let me put down just enough. I really do think so. That looks cool. I drew that, by the way. <laughs> okay. Now we just need to let it dry, uh, cool off a little bit because it's still kind of warmish. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to move my heat map and all that kind of good stuff. Oh yeah, the uh, the stencil here, it's free up on my Kofi site. You just can go and just download it. It's totally free. Oh, okay. Now <clears throat> I'm gonna take our stencil. Let's see. Make sure we have enough under it. And then if if you don't want to use it. Hold. You can always use it this way too. Make it like on its side, which is cool that you can use a stencil that way. You know. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Lisa. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it this way, like sideways. I like that idea. Okay, so I'm gonna take um, just a regular marker. And just outline it. Doesn't have to be perfect. with the basic outline so that you have something to go by. the rest of the body a little bit like that okay now <clears throat> I'm going to connect the body here this is what gives us kind of an idea of where all the lines for the wings go so, uh, like that. Alrighty. Now, now you notice I did not turn off the iron. If you turn off the iron, you'll be sad because you'll have to plug it back in again. And you don't want to have to do that. Because what happens when you cut this the edges are going to turn white and you want to be able to make sure that it's sealed so what I do is I go back over it with just a, a warm iron not a hot one and reseal the edges after I'm done I found that when I was using the punches it would leave this really strange white edge and I thought okay we're gonna have to seal them back up again I will be saving this for punching out flowers and other little butterflies and stuff like that.
And there we go. Okay. Now let me get a, another piece of white paper here. I'll just use, no, I'll just get a regular piece. So you guys can see what I'm doing. That's the problem with them being see-through. <laughs> All right, so do we have any edges that are... Yeah, you can see how sometimes when you cut it, it'll like peel open. So I'm gonna grab my little mat again. and uh, unplug my iron because I still want it warm. I don't I still want it hot. And touch up the edges, reseal them. Here we go. So now nothing's lifted or peeling away. Looks good. Alrighty. That's so pretty. Okay. Get rid of this again. And now we're going to use our either Posca pens or just paint markers. Anything you have, but make sure it's black because that's what gives them that. Where'd they go? Oh, they're there. We're going to be doing this part now, the veining and everything. So, I will probably use this one. Yeah. Now, I'm going to do the body. Paint markers work way better than Sharpies. Sharpies just don't stick to the wax paper. And as you can see too, the black actually makes everything pop. Just, and this is gonna be pretty. the edges and after we get the edges I'll go back in and do the veining or you could just stop here if you wanted to Kind of let the colors do their own thing. Hey, love and light. How you doing, hon? <laughs> oh, that's true. It is your Sunday, isn't it? So it's actually our tomorrow there. So what am I doing tomorrow, you know? <laughs> okay looking good now let's see I think I, I like these veins on this one better than I did the uh, orange one so we're going to go with that
Oh, hey, Love and Light. Um, uh, congratulations on winning that uh, thing from Melanie at the treasured page. I was rooting for you. <laughs> Tomorrow is wonderful. It's spring here, but cooler since we've had inches of rain and those roads are flooded in the air. Oh no! <laughs> Gosh, we need some of that rain over in California. Gosh, those poor people are, are having it rough out there. You can send that rain our way. We don't need it here in Florida. It rains regularly. Thank goodness. Because it's, whew, we've had our share of droughts. And of course, then our forests all ignite in fires. And oh my gosh. And we get plenty of hurricanes, as everybody knows. Sticking my fingers in it. That's the only thing about this paint. It takes its while to... Takes its good old time drying. Ah! No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta spread, spread around the love here. This one's going to have to sit and dry for a while. it around. I'll have to work on how to use it all. I'm sending it to anywhere that's dry. Yeah, right? Good deal. We came out of our 10-year drought at the end of the last year. Which was good. Yeah, I knew about that drought. That was, oof. That was terrible. And you had all that, the fires and everything. That was terrible. This is going to be so pretty. Awesome. So far it's looking really good. up this black dry so I can put the white dots on it. 
Uh -huh. Where can I put my finger? <laughs> Somewhere. Eh, that's not gonna work. Eh. It's so sticky. if I can get this one done. There we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. That definitely takes some concentration. And now I've got a white ink marker. Let me see if I can't get the shine off of this so you guys can actually see it. Whoops. Don't slide off. Stop sliding. You see? Thank you. Hey, Tamala. How you doing, sweetie? Oh, yeah. This, this is a... Yes. It's a great little project you could do with kids anytime definitely I would just suggest be careful with the paint markers because <laughs> they are they take a little bit of getting used to and they take a little bit of uh, allowing them to dry I'm sure you could probably just use probably just a uh, brush and regular acrylic would probably work just as well. I have Posca pens. These are similar to Posca pens. So it's... <laughs> have you pre-drawn those lines? Or are they... I'm winging it. Yes, I'm winging it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was cute. <laughs> winging it. Yep, just winging it. Oh my 
goodness. some of these others because they look kind of messed up. I think this is why I went over the other ones with gold too because it was it kept fading on me. I don't know why. see the and these actually once they dry they get pretty hard so but yeah now we just gotta let this bigger dry but it came out beautiful and if you wanted to I bet you can make these in like window clings or something <laughs> where you can hang them from a string in front of a window that made like a stained glass effect But aren't they pretty? And they're so easy to make. So easy. <gasps> Melanie! <laughs> How are you, hun? Oh my gosh, you slept. Aw, oh, thank you. You probably put me over... Let me see. I bet you any money we're over 2,000 now. Yep, we just hit 2,000. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You guys rock. You guys just make my whole year. Unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take a hole punch and a piece of cardstock because my hole punch doesn't like to cut through wax paper <laughs> without having something sturdy in the back. Because I don't want to waste this. So I just do this. And now I've got like little things I can use in my journals or making clusters and get one more out of this come on whoops there's another one I just don't like wasting this uh, let's see. Scissors. <sighs> Some of these are just so pretty. You don't want to waste it. show you guys how to do the um, make the stickers using the uh, the magic wand thingy <laughs> just what Mel called it <laughs> I thought that was so cute magic wand <laughs> possibly definitely I don't see why not
I just like using new techniques, finding new ways of doing things. I mean, nobody likes doing the same thing over and over and over again. They definitely don't like watching the same thing over and over again. Okay, that's done. Now, whoops, I get all this put aside for right now and show you guys this. I made these, they're just stickers. But what I did is I took, I have a sticker, it's sticker paper, literally. I'll show you package about here it's vinyl sticker paper for inkjet printers and if you can like draw something out on an iPad and then upload it to your computer then you can print that out on this and make stickers of your own and if you don't own a Cricut which I do not this works great so what I'm going to do and I'm gonna use archival ink because it makes nice crisp lines instead of it being kind of blurry so, um, what should we do let's do a couple words here Perry and what else do we have any other stickers that I could make me buy these? I don't have any other stickers. Oh, yes, I do. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? I have... A butterfly. It's gonna be all butterflies today. <laughs> Let's use that one. Where did my other block go? Let's just use this. Okay. There we go. They've done lost their sticky. I don't want to have to use a glue stick to put them on back on there either. Okay, so then I've got, I'm gonna put some alcohol ink on this. Let's see. And we'll just, these are just oh who markers, alcohol markers. And we'll use yellow. This is one of the easiest ways I know of to make your own stickers. A lot of people I, I used to follow, they, they made their own stickers, but they had the machines and all that, and I was just like, nah, my studio is not big enough for that. Okay. I wonder, can I lower this? <laughs> yeah, they do take a little getting used to. I'm wondering if I can lower you guys. And actually show you. Wow. Well, this is new. Woo. Okay. 
This is as sideways as I can show you guys. This angle. Put the point of the angle. And I'm just kiss cutting, so it's not going to be a fussy cut. And because it's a sticker, I don't want it to go all the way through. But I'm always holding this at a, 40, uh, a 90 degree angle. like so. Can you see the see the little line around the outside? And now this one in parts it'll cut through all the way, but in other places it it's just a sticker. Just a sticker. Oops. There we go. Isn't that cute? Pretty easy, huh? <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody needs one of these. Everybody needs one of these. They're so convenient. And now I've got a sticker. I can put it wherever I want. I don't want to make anybody seasick. Hold on. But Isn't that cool? That's what I use mine for. Let's see, let's go back to uh, <laughs> my Streamlabs chat. I don't know why this isn't keeping up. Keep up. Oh well. Oh well. Not worth it. Okay. So yeah, that's how I make my stickers. And if you wanted to have a, like an old grungy look, you can go over it with um, just your regular like vintage photo, and it makes it gives that a vintagey look. And the ink's not going anywhere, folks. I mean, this is this is good paper. I'll leave a link for this paper down below so that uh, you guys can check it out. And uh, yeah. That's how that is done. So hopefully people will see. God, I got so many questions on that video. It was it was ridiculous. I, I've had people ask me, can I use it if I'm left-handed? I've had people ask me, um, it, 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 oh my gosh. It, well, one lady, she actually just yesterday suggested that I use the mats for a Cricut, the sticky mats. And I thought, oh my gosh. That's brilliant. <laughs> so I have ordered a 12 by 12 Cricut sticky mat to put these down on so that it holds them. So um, if it can cut something, you know, on that from a Cricut, then this is going to be nothing for it. So I'm going to probably do a little show and tell on that eventually also. So, yeah, that's all I've got for today. Um, if anybody has any more questions or want to see something, uh, whatever, I'm, I'm game. I hope this time of day is good for everybody because it's good for me because Sunday is not so great. Um, I forgot that I film my Monday videos on Sundays, so that would really be like a lot. So, <laughs> Um, Saturdays work really well for me. And uh, I know later in Saturdays was what a lot of people wanted. And then there was like a slew of people who were like, don't care. I watch it on feet on replay anyways. I'm like, okay. Um, so yeah, but I do appreciate you guys being here. Definitely. You guys are awesome. Thank you for coming. And, uh, yeah, we are going to do this every Saturday with a new project, of course. And, uh, we will see what happens and what, what comes of it. So you guys are fantastic people. Thank you so much for the congratulations on 2,000 subscribers. I am so excited. You guys are the best. The best. 
I love you all so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.